Hello and welcome to my Necropolis League League Start. I went ahead and started Animate Weapon of Self-Reflection again, doing White Wind again. Now, the uh, reason I went with this, uh, before, remember, I went with the Scion just because I felt like it. Uh, I knew that wasn't probably going to be better. In this league, it was much, much worse to go Scion. This league, Necros get that amazing new tool here. Pull that up. Bone Barrier. You get leech off of your minions. So that's going to turn into a lot of sustain. So um, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that. I wanted to start Animate Weapon of Self-Reflection again. Because even though this White Wind added Cold Variant doesn't have a very high potential. Uh, you know, I ended up re-rolling it. And I do have plans to re-roll it again. Um, it's still really strong just for the early levels and getting through early maps. Uh, let me turn down my music just a little bit here. That should be good. All right, and uh, as you can see, this is Sanctum. We killed Lycia, and uh, had still plenty of resolve and inspiration left. Um, you don't really need the millions and millions of damage, but um, you do need pretty darn good damage, you know, much more than you would need just for white maps. And uh, that's how strong this is as a starter, using White Wind. And for this character, I did make something like 20 or 30 chaos by the end of the campaign. Um, and that's because, if you'll notice, we're all the way up to level 76, pretty high. Like at this point, 76, you'd be working your way through white maps, maybe yellow maps a lot of times. Um, I took my time, you know, it's day three. I'm not one of those players that's ever going to be killing uber bosses by day three. But uh, uh, I take my time and I've got other stuff in my life anyway. So uh, I feel like I'm more towards the middle of the pack. Uh, in that regard as far as how much time I can actually put into this game but I do have that experience and I wanted to try the Sanctum Rush this time and well this worked for Sanctum Rush I would say Sanctum can always be a bit of a nail biter you can get bad luck you can get bad curses but um, it worked out and the damage was serviceable in fact I even forgot to bring a single target gem I forgot to even level one up. This I should have an elemental damage with attacks gem, level 18 to swap melee splash, but I got stuck fighting Lycia with melee splash. Uh, but it all worked out. I did have to deal with the waves phase. I think I still would would have had to deal with the waves phase even with the uh, with the better gem, but um, that's not guaranteed. Let's go ahead and identify these just to see what we got. Ooh, oh, that's a good one. I'll be using that for sure. Um, and then Balance of Terror. That one, that one sells for not that much. Oh, well. Um, so I'll go ahead and just touch on this briefly because it's not too complicated. I'll share a POV in the description. And then I'll go ahead and do my first map. Oops. Um, looking for my hotkey. Yeah, I haven't done a single map yet. So I'm fresh out of the campaign. Um, one thing I did a little different from usual in the campaign is that I actually did all my contracts. Um, so one awesome thing about doing your heist contracts or your, or your sanctum as soon as you can is that that's by far more likely to er earn you early divines than, uh, just jumping into white maps and making your regular progression there. You can, you can get lucky anyway, but, uh, much more luck found in sanctum or heist and speaking of which, I actually found a three divine synthesis ring in one of my uh, in one of my heists, like a level 69 synthesized percent dexterity bone ring. Um, so that's nice. None of those divines went into the character. The character is still wearing like this is the most expensive item. I spent 10 chaos on it. Um, within a few days, this would be like a one or two chaos item. Um, so for League Start gear, we are. Like you'll see in the POB if you want to look at it all. It's just like bare minimum stuff. Like crafted 37 life, right? A five link on a terrible body armor with crafted life. Uh, White Wind is one of those extremely underused items that's very powerful in this particular niche, and uh, but still not powerful enough to take to the end game. You have to swap out to something else later. Um, I, I'll get into that in a second. Um, and City Breath. So we're just doing added cold, pure cold, um, one other nice thing about City Breath, by the way, that I don't think I mentioned before, my zombies here, uh, they get to rock Elemental Army, and because they only deal cold, we know that their exposure will be cold exposure, so that's where we get a little more damage. This all comes together very nicely for a League Start with very cheap gear, right? Like, I spent an alchemy on this City Breath, 
and then I hit it with uh, with the double corrupt temple <laughs> that spawned in Act Two, which was cool. Um, so the tree, um, that I won't even say that this is necessarily the optimal tree. Like you don't need this uh, life recoup, life regen. Uh, I'm planning to go petrified blood, which I'll go he go back to in a little bit. But you don't actually need this wheel yet. So that's four, five, six points you could spend somewhere else. You know, maybe more life here, maybe armor. We don't have a defensive aura. Um, another thing I forgot to do before starting my sanctum was I still had purity of elements, and uh, that needed to be swapped out for haste. And um, I actually needed to get that's when I needed to buy these gloves to top off my resists without purity of elements. You don't really need purity of elements, you have enough rares. Um, now, the uh, where I'm planning to transition. That's a whole other story I'll get to. Um, so I'll go ahead and complain about skeletons real quick. I really wanted to leak start skeletons. Um, I'm sad to say it, but uh, they just need to, GGG needs to do something about skeletons. They are in a sorry state. I uh, really I tried really hard, and um, the only version of skeletons that seems to hit respectable damage that I could see without going to absurd budgets, which I didn't even really try, so I can't promise that there's no version that can end up doing respectable damage, but uh, Iron Mass with the Adorned is probably the only way to go for, like, uber damage. Um, and I don't want to do Iron Mass again. I did that last league. Although, um, it is possible, uh, or at least it seems like, uh, Smite works with iron mass i didn't think that it would there's two components to smite there's melee attack and there's that lightning bolt that strikes if either one hits you get your smite aura for the added lightning damage and that gets tripled by iron mass um i only thought about this because gazzy was talking about doing added lightning with iron mass um but uh i figured by the wording of iron mass hit with this weapon recently that it would need to be the me the melee component of smite but uh seems like actually the lightning strike will work just as well um which i hope so which uh if that's the case then that would be significantly less annoying less uh tedious to play than the version of iron mass i did at the end of a uh, affliction league but i don't want to play iron mass again anyway uh i wanted to do something a little new and i figure that if my other plans don't come through um i'll find something else to play but um, I'm thinking uh, my current plans, which I'll come to in a minute, uh, will be fine enough. Um, so I'm excited to, I just wanna play a Necromancer. I'm gonna share what my plans are. They're not perfectly optimized yet, but I just really want to play around with this Leech Ascendancy. That's just really cool. Um, for added cold, I'll go ahead and bring that up here. Um, as you can see, the damage that we're at right now is 378,000 Shaper DPS. Um, wait a minute. It might even be less than that. It's got Val Haste. There we go. 361. 361. Um, I'll go ahead and update that before the end of the video. Um, and, you know, it's just all the basics. We got our exposure and, uh, uh, we do have a blind jewel. So as far as investment, what I spent my 20 chaos or so on this character, um, I spent one chaos on five ghastly jewels with added cold damage. Just, I put in one chaos maximum, sorted by the most cold damage, and I got a bunch of jewels with tier two added cold, and I didn't care about the rest of the mods, but one of the mods is blind chance to blind on hits that's cool um so the blind helps with accuracy and we are also going to be stacking evasion for sanctum specifically you want to make sure you get haste much more important than evasion but for mapping i think i will switch this haste into grace you can't squeeze in both um grace will fit in very well with this build because white wind gives an immense amount of flat evasion plus 1100 it could roll up to 1500 which is just a ton especially to get off of a main hand weapon and of course uh those bonuses specifically the up to 200 percent increased cold while your offhand is empty the animate weapon has white wind and the animate weapon has an empty offhand you the player wearing this it would be nice to get the spell suppression but that's not nicer than having a shield um, plus we don't have any other spell suppression anyway 
However, if you wanted to go shieldless, empty offhand, I haven't even tried that. You know, spell suppression could make it worth it. Like, that's that's up to you. Just make sure to go over and grab instinct with the spell with the lucky spell suppression if if you want to try this. This is not locked down. This is just I'd say you want one defensive. You do want this cluster. You do want this over here. Um, I guess to perfectly optimize, like these two points should be grabbed instead of these three, but whatever. Um, and then just grabbing life and like maybe you could get block. That would probably be better than these. I, I've got six more points that I haven't even spent yet because I know I'm going to transition soon. Uh, those three divines I'm spending on transition. So um, yeah, complaining about skeletons to finish that off. These transfigured skeleton archers and skeleton mages gems are like 50% as strong as the old alternate quality versions. Absolute bullshit. How are we supposed to play those skills? I guess they're just too convenient. I guess GGG thinks having a ranged temporarily summoned minion is just too much and they've got to make sure the gems deal no freaking damage. So I don't understand the philosophy. Like summon raging spirits is still better than... <sighs> I don't I don't I don't get the idea I think they're just not paying much attention to it um, I think every skill should be able to I didn't get a divine in this sanctum like I said I got lucky in a heist I did not get lucky in this sanctum I got one other sanctum I'm gonna do soon and I guess I've got a couple more relics that can go in um, before I go to my first map for gameplay I'm just gonna show my future plans this is added lightning animate weapon of self-reflection using a paradoxica um, just because I like a lot of the components like we get to use smite which is added lightning uh, we get to use volatility and more added lightning and over here nope 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 um, before I go over all the uniques you'll see there's a big pile of brown letters here purple stow Nearby allies damage with hits is lucky. And of course that is perfect with lightning damage. Lightning damage is of course going to be like 1 to 20,000 lightning damage per hit. If you get lucky, that's, you know, the wider the range, the better the effect you get from lucky. So that's pretty awesome. Um, why I'm looking forward to this is because we'll get to run Utula's Hunger. Now I've modified this because of something that I should have tested already, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. I just believe it should work. Path of Building believes it doesn't. Lori's Lantern. So this is going to offset the drawback to Perkle's Toe. Light, incoming lightning damage enemies hitting you is lucky. That's a big drawback for lightning damage. Lori's Lantern makes it so that enemies are unlucky when damaging you while you're on low life. We're always going to be on low life, which I'll come back to in a little bit. But none of the mods on Lori's Lantern have a life tag. I've checked. I've checked the item in game. You hold alt. You look at the tags on each of the mods. I went to uh, PDB, Path of Exile Database, dot Taiwan or whatever. Uh, double checked there. No life tags. That should be all that's necessary for Utula's Hunger to still give you its flat life. Utula's Hunger is plus a whole ton of flat life. If there are no life modifiers on other equipped items, I believe it should work with Lori's Lantern, but if we swap that to an unhacked Utula's Hunger, you can see here's a life, 4,002, drops down to 2,400. We're not getting the flat life because of Lori's Lantern. Boom. Which I think is wrong, but I don't know. I'll find out when I test it. Lori's Lantern doesn't, you know change the world so it's not the worst thing if we don't get to use it but um i hope it does work um with lori's lantern we get nice resists we get a little move speed we get the unlucky incoming damage unlucky incoming damage will cancel out lucky incoming damage it's a plus one minus one um if you had two lucky mods they don't get lucky lucky they just are lucky or they aren't lucky the only thing like if i think if you had a second Maybe if you had a second Lori's Lantern, then you would get unlucky incoming lightning damage. I don't know for sure. I wouldn't do that anyway, just because it's only for lightning damage. I will just accept that lightning damage is regular luck instead of unlucky or lucky. Um, Utula's Hunger, requiring that you have no life modifiers, means that 
um, basically you get to wear all the uniques that you wish you could use but you shouldn't really use because they don't have any life mods. So we get the whole wish list. We get Prism Guardian, which I got to buy already because of the high string I found. Um, Devouring Diadem, which I should be able to afford as well. Um, Atula's Hunger I already got, but um, it's, it's going to cost money to get the colors that I need. Um, Vixen's Entrapment, I haven't even checked the price, but it shouldn't be too much. Glorious Lantern, Perkle's Toe. We can probably get a Perkle's Toe with a Corrupted Implicit. Like, that thing is dirt cheap. Same with Glorious Lantern. Hungry Loop, I'm going to come back to, but that's actually going to be required. Um, I just put this at 100% realistically. I'm going to get one at like 90%, and, you know, for most until I have enough money to upgrade it. I like getting it at 100%, but uh, that's down the road. This is kind of a high-end plan. And the Adorned. I'm planning to go with the Adorned again because we're getting double damage, lucky damage, um, and you know, and uh, because of that, flat damage, flat added lightning is going to be an extremely potent mod. So let's go ahead and just jerk that stat off as much as possible. You can see we lose 41%. It could be a lot higher. This could, you know, down the road if we get a higher percentage adorned and better corrupted jewels. Um, these are these are. These are probably better than I'm going to end up getting, so this damage might be a little bit lower. Um, and yeah, we're only looking at just under 10 million with all this as it's set up now with pretty ideal items and gems. So I don't know for sure if this is where I'll be going. I'll still go ahead and share this. Um, I assume that I'll have updates and new plans. Um, I'll pull up here the max hits, especially the fizz max hit. Looks kind of low, but there's something going on that will be changing that quite a lot. Um, I do plan to once again go with Supreme Ostentation because you know with all these uniques, um, we also don't have room for the dexterity um, that you need to equip your Paradoxica or the strength course to run determination. Like that's, we just don't have the suffixes. So Supreme Ostentation gets rid of all attribute requirements and. You can see we, this is just where our attributes are just from the tree, but uh, they don't matter. We're not gonna worry about attributes. And um, that lets us make sure that we get an eternal resilience somewhere, which is a reliable source of endurance charges. Um, I also went ahead and just made sure the sample timeless jewel that I grabbed has increased armor. Um, you can get better, uh, you know, at this, with the other items that I've, selected here like realistically i should expect to get a third maybe a fourth usable notable like a slum lord or two which would significantly increase the damage but um i'm just keeping it low to the ground realistic something i can expect to get soon and let's say i, I just want eternal resilience and probably armor would be uh still cheap you know a slum lord jewel would probably be more expensive than i want to spend on my first uh elegant hubris so um because of eternal resilience we can expect a nice um, incoming, uh, we can expect nice sustain on our endurance charges, all three of them. Uh, so if we do expect to have all of our endurance charges, that brings up our Fizz Max hit significantly. And another thing I don't have enabled is, once again, going with Immortal Call, cast when damage taken. And if we have both our endurance charges and our Immortal Call going, we can see a Fizz Max, max hit of over 15,000, but that will not be a consistent uptime. So uh, this, a lot of times we'll have max hits like this, but maybe half the time, maybe a little less than that. But pretty nice when it's all up, right? Um, and not stacking too much armor, but this is enough to be very noticeable in most situations. The, phys, the straight physical damage reduction we get as a Necromancer and from the endurance charges will have the most effect in boss situations and the armor will have the most effect in mapping general purpose situations. Um, and this tree, I might, I'll might i reconsider if this is exactly where I wanna go with the tree, we'll see. Um, I do think I wanna go armor. I mean, that's the whole reason I'm going to Tula's is because it gives a nice chunk of armor as well. And that's a good starting point, but um, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Um, I don't want to go into in depth on this because, you know, subject to change, but um, Prism Guardian is going to let us reserve a whole bunch of life in the shield. We get to run a couple of our purities. That's right. We're going triple purity again. And 
level up of precision up until we still have slightly more than 50% on reserved life. Um, and there's an important reason to make sure it's only slightly more, but it is more, between more and slightly more. Um, that will bring our life down to low life. We will need one of the masteries, one of the life masteries, this one down here, to make sure that we count as on low life while at 55% instead of just 55%. Uh, the reason for that is pretty simple. Um, petrified blood will be running. Oh yeah, so precision, you just need to make sure you have the level precisely best wherever keeps your life right at that edge. You know, you might have to lower it or raise it a couple of times, but um with petrified blood you can only go above 50 percent life with a life flask we will be running life flasks in the sloth to take care of uh ailments but um if you go above 50 percent even 50.01 percent right um then you are no longer on low life for the purposes of lori's lantern you lose the move speed and the chaos resist and i don't want that uh maybe it's not a big deal but i don't want to be dealing with you know with, the, with that little snag, so I'm going to make sure we're always on low life here. And uh, another thing is going to be, well, it won't make a big difference. I haven't put in the flasks yet, but there's a life flask mod that it has more recovery if you're on low life. I just want to make sure I'm always on low life. You know, that, that part doesn't even make any sense, actually. Forget about that. But uh, that's not going to be crucial. I'm going on. I'm rambling about little things that don't matter too much. Triple purity. Two of the purities in the shield and the prism guardian plus the precision and that brings us to where we want with the reserved life in the helmet makes it to run our determination petrified blood the third purity and wrath which should be a little bit level 21 if we're going to be doing this and that's all three of the purities is it yeah that's all three of them um smite will need to run hex touch for the conductivity and then assassin's mark will get mark on hit um we are running vixens entrapment for the extra curse there might be a better way to do this in fact i haven't anointed this amulet yet so realistically we could go with a better gloves option and that'll probably be the biggest update once i uh come back to this but uh we can just anoint whispers of doom and then uh i don't know for sure maybe just rare gloves with like minion damage and spell suppression uh or just good armor would probably be a better choice, but I'll still go ahead and share this POB where it's at. There's a few more things to work on. We'll figure it out. Um, only last thing to explain uh, in this is going to be Hungry Loop. That's going to take a little bit of time. What you have to do for Hungry Loop, you just need to get the gems you plan on all the way up to level 19, and then... All the way up to where they're ready to level up but you don't click the plus yet so they're still at 19 all you need to do is get your four gems up to that point save them up put on hungry loop and then just level them up one at a time once they go from level 19 to 20 hungry loop will eat them they won't have any quality so you know don't waste any uh, gem cutters on the gems you're gonna put in there and um, that's the only warning that pob is saying is that you've got too many gems in your ring too but that's our hungry loot. So uh, it'll be a 420 zeros going Feeding Frenzy, Minion Life, Meat Shield, Elemental Army. And for Spectres, um, I'm waiting to find out about all the Spectres, we're, new Spectres we got for this league. Um, there's reportedly a new Onslaught Spectre. So I've got that ready to calculate. That could bring us up a nice couple million DPS. Um, there you know, it could be aura specters, right? I think uh, there was talk about someone's seeing a precision specter. That would be very interesting. Um, you know, affliction really spoiled us with the specters, but they were itemized. So you had to spend four divines if you needed to replace your tiger and stuff like that. That was annoying. Um, but we'll see. I may also just go with animate guardian instead. Animate guardian can uh, give explosions. Um, Crown of the Tyrant can give more added lightning. Um, Victorio's Charity can give frenzy charges and some power charges. Power charges are already going to come from Assassin's Mark anyway, though. So uh, we'll have to see. Um, if we get that Spectre that grants um, lucky lightning damage, if we get another source of that from a Spectre, which there was one in Affliction that did that, 
Um, then instead of Perkle's Toe, we could go for Ashes of the Stars, which would also be amazing. So um, we'll see where it goes. Definitely to be updated. I'll still share it where it's at. But uh, I'm excited to do new anime weapon stuff. I might go a totally different direction. We'll see. I mean, Wraith Lord is probably going to be expect expensive, but it's got my eye. Um, you know, and there's a lot, le a lot more left to be discovered. So uh, I'll be sure to update. Um, just gonna just share in here what my league start was like. You know, I barely played on Friday. I got probably seven or eight hours on uh, Saturday. Um, let's see what I even got. Did I really play for 22 hours? I left it open while I was doing other stuff. Yeah, I worked, I had a date, I went to the gym, I went to Easter dinner, and I left Path of Exile running for a lot of that. So, um, I don't know, I don't know what my plate's at. But, 76, cleared my first uh, Sanctum. I feel pretty comfy about doing the next Sanctum. I might go ahead and buy more low-level Tomes and just do a bunch of Sanctums. Um, I did all my... I did all of my uh, heists that I got from from the campaign and I'll go ahead and do my first map real quick let's see let's make it desert spring let's just get all this junk out of the way let's see I spent some money we have to go all the way back to the town I suppose I should identify it. Oh, those are both fine. And for a white map, it just needs to be magic, right? Bonus objective. Yeah, just magic. Forgive me. I don't remember. Oof. I don't want to read. We'll find out. We got melee splashing. I think I found a new realm to master. Our flasks are not set up at all. We even have an armor flask that I shouldn't, but I don't even use it. And you just, the duration isn't amazing, but if all you do is just resummon the animate weapon every once in a while, like you don't have a lot of buttons to keep pressing anyway, not a high maintenance build, then you should stay at seven more than often enough. I don't know about swapping that. Ooh, we'll see what that is. I do need to fix my life flasks. Oh my god. don't have enough dexterity to level up the haste all the way yet. It's getting there. Eternal life flasks suck. I do do all my heists. I think as soon as I get my heist uh, quests all done, um... I will go ahead and block heist because I don't know maybe it's an OCD thing I like to make sure I have done all of my contracts it annoys me to just have like 200 contracts by the end of a league for my farming strategy I'm thinking I will just go straight for um, June and maybe farm a bunch of Katarina 
Um, get in the new Veiled Chaos Orbs. Oh, he's already phased. Come on. Although, now that we took off Purity of Elements, we don't have ailment coverage anymore. So I'll need Ignite removal on one of my Life Flasks, Bleed removal on the other. I do have my Soul of Earth Slotha going. Forgive all my looting. Literally my first map. I'm still wearing campaign gear. Right. Come on. Just refresh them all. We've got a pretty decent duration. Oh, we didn't even need to use our Val Haste. All right. Uh, interesting. I like what they've done with the with the campaign. There's a lot more interesting things happening in the campaign. So this new league is pretty cool. Um, as far as the league mechanic goes, um, I don't know. I guess I'll probably see if I can craft a few items and save myself from having to buy... Uh, trade for decent rares and then um, I know that there's a few new modifiers so we'll have to see where that goes uh, I don't craft too often but I fuck with it a little bit we'll see um, so yeah uh, POB for the added cold starter here which I'll transition it most likely into added lightning later just because I want to see where it goes and what better optimizations I can make and see if we can you know, 11 million is not as much as I was wanting, but that is enough to kill uber bosses and it should be enough to do uber maps. But, uh, you know, I would prefer to see 20 million, right? This is not Affliction League. The same power level is not really available to us. Um, I hope I don't have to switch to Summon Raging Spirits. I will make Animate Weapon of Self-Reflection work again. Um, uh, another version, but uh, different people have uh, shared it, is uh, the Energy Shield version with Ghost Drive. Uh, which also can uh, do Sanctum. I haven't tried it myself. I wanted to try it at some point, but I was bored by the end of Affliction. Um, I'm pretty happy with added cold here. Um, and that I do know, first off, this version will be a little bit better. And um, I think I can go into lean into crit. I don't know if I will swap to added lightning before I can build up out of cold more. But, you know, there is a lot more potential once you start going into crit because White Winds does have a decent, decent base crit rate. And, um, you know, you enchant that and you get your assassin's mark and everything. Um, you know, that that could end up being okay. And you can just keep wearing city breath the whole time. Um, and uh, it's, you know, been uh, really fast for uh, for my league starts. I'd say uh, I'm pretty happy with the fact that it cleared Sanctum all the way to Lycia, right? And it did heist and earned me some divines already before the first map. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I'm happy to talk in the comments.